Hi, this is Linda with the Life Station Express, the relay station. We bring the news to you. Today, I'm going to work on showing you how I make brown butter bites. And I know there are lots of videos out there where you can watch people make them, but I just thought it'd be fun for me to put this on my YouTube channel and show you how I do it. I have a couple friends who've already been posting how they make their brown butter bites. It's basically the same thing for all of us. We just melt butter in a pan, pour it in a mold, and put it in the freezer and let it freeze. They are delicious, I must say. I love the brown butter bites, and um, I'm just going to put this stick down so that we can look at the pan over here, and I'll show you how I make them. Alrighty. Now, I think maybe you can see that, okay? I have, and I'll just show you real quick, um, I'm going to use a spatula just to stir around the butter in the pan. When I pour the butter or scoop it over, I'm going to use a regular, this is just a serving size tablespoon. I find that that fills my molds perfectly, just one to one. And I have this one, which is a candy mold. They are silicone. And I have this one, which is more like a Reese's Pieces style so they'll be just a little bit bigger bite than the one in the the greenish sea green um, mold set i am using trader joe's butter that i got the other week we do have a new trader joe's it's not too far away it's about 40 minutes 45 minutes from me which is closer than any of the other trader joe's that we have around us well we don't really have him close that's the closest one I've been there once and the butter was a good price and I got it. So I'm going to use two sticks, which would be eight ounces, which is half a pound of butter. It's going to not all the way entirely fill the two mold trays, but that's how much I like to use at once and just keep in the freezer. So let me see if I can get this a little bit closer. There's my pan. I have a blue diamond skillet. Uh, non-stick skillet. I believe I got this at Marshall's, which is where I shop when I want to get something, you know, at a little bit of a discount, but a quality item. So what we're going to do is turn the burner on to about a medium, medium low heat. And I'm sorry if you hear something in the background, my washing machine is running. I never even thought about that. It's upstairs, <laughs> just above me and it's it's washing clothes anyway let's turn on the uh, i don't want to turn the fan on that'll be noisy there's a little something on the burner here so that's one container stick whatever this is the second one i think i'm going to run up and turn All right it's well, I'd like to run up and turn my washer off, but I don't want to pause my video. So I'm going to leave this sit for just one second. I know, dead air, dead air. I think I get most of my exercise <laughs> by running up and down the steps. Okay, there we go. So the butter is starting to melt. I've got it on for my electric stove here. It's number four, which is kind of a medium low. And my burner is a little off kilter. So I put the handle in that direction so that it's level. If I leave it this way where I can actually reach it, sometimes it wiggles a little bit. So. I'm going to put that there and I'm going to make this video in real time. If you want to speed it up or, um, you know, skip some of it, fine. I just wanted to do this in real time so that you could see actually how long it takes to do this. It's really not that long. So there we go. The butter's really melting quickly and you just want to kind of, you know, work it around. I could have cut these in half and it probably would slow down the time a little bit. Just give it more surface area. I'm trying to 
try that. There we go. There we go. Hey, make it melt just a little bit faster. There we go. These, because they were in the fridge, of course, pretty cold. And it's melting down nicely. See how it kind of separates. What we want to do is separate the water out of the butter. And it's almost like making a ghee. It's very close to that. But when you take it to the point of actually browning, um, that's where the difference comes in. So we're going to actually take some of the water, let that just cook away from the butter. It's just a, a little bit of a process here. Remember in my last video, I don't know if you remember or not, I was talking about the way the handles are constructed on the pans. And this one actually has the two screws that affix the handle to the pan itself. And see, I've already got some butter up there on that screw right here. I just, that's just kind of one of my, yeah, see? I don't want butter up there around there, but you, it's a, unavoidable, I think. So look, and you can see how the butter is melting. It's almost done. And it's starting to just start to get a little bubble in there. I, I won't stir it for a second. You can see the little bubbles coming. And um, it kind of will get a little sizzly sounding as it goes. It's just about, it's pretty much melted, one little piece there. So we just want to let that go and let it get to that sizzle stage and just kind of work it a little bit. We don't want it to burn, but yet we want that water to evaporate out. So just kind of, you know, move it back and forth till it gets to a place where it's really going to start bubbling and foaming and it's, it's working its way there right now. And I'm just leaving it on a medium, hmm, it's a medium, I guess, low or medium. On my stove, it's number four, so they go up to six and then high. So I think I'm just gonna, you can see the steam coming off now. And the bubbles starting to form as it boils a little bit and the water is coming out of the butter itself. And I did use salted butter. I did not share that with you. I don't see the point of even having unsalted butter for anything, but it's uh, quarters salted. This was a pound Trader Joe's butter. And you can use any butter. I mean, really any butter is fine. If you like the, the fancy butter, if you like uh, an Irish butter or Kerrygold or whatever, that's fine too. But the regular, you know, Walmart butter works just as well just as well. So as you can see, it's foaming up a little bit, more steam's coming off, and the water's just evaporating out of the butter. So we'll just keep this up for a little bit. Again, I'm gonna leave this in real time. I'm not gonna pause it, just so you have an idea of how long this actually takes. I just wanna keep moving it around a little bit. This is really nice. Um, there's a girl on YouTube called the Carnivore Doc, Carnivore Doctor. Um, she does a really, really good video showing this. And she does it in a white pan. So you can really, really tell when the butter starts browning in her video. Mine, you'll be able to see it, but of course this is a dark surface on this pan. Um, so it's not quite as easy to see the browning as it is in hers. She does a really, really good um, video. She's got two cameras, one above, <clears throat> excuse me, and then one where you can actually see her. This one, you just see my hands, but that's fine. You don't need to see me. Um, so it's, um, here we go, it's cooking. You don't, you don't want to do it, like I'm an impatient person a lot of times. <clears throat> Excuse me, I have a frog for some reason this morning. Um, so I really want to turn this up and get it going, but I'm not going to. Just leave it on number four and um, let it go. Just 
takes a little patience, it takes a little, little bit of time, not a lot. Again, if you want to speed up the video, you know, have at it. Just going to keep just moving it around a little bit. It's, it's almost to a full boil, not quite. When I stir it, you can see that it's, it's burning. I mean, it's boiling, sorry. There we go. There comes more bubbles. You could probably actually turn this up a little bit, but I don't want to burn it. I just want to get it nice and brown. Now you can hear it. See how it's foaming up. And I believe the color is changing a little bit already. There we go. It's starting to get a little golden underneath. It would be nice if I had a white pan. Uh, you can really see what's happening here. But you can even see the foams a little darker than it was. It's a little more golden color. There we go. Now you can see, look right there. If you can see that little brown spot starting. Oh, here we go. That won't be long now. Not long at all. You want it to go along. You can smell it too. You can smell the... It's like when it's caramelized and you can really smell the butter flavor coming up. And boy, do these taste good. We thought, uh, my husband and I thought they tasted like, it reminded us of, of butter popcorn when you eat them. Um, other people have said, you know, with toffee, a caramelized toffee flavor, that's a little sweet. I don't feel like it tastes like that, but as you can see, it's getting browner and it's going to be done very soon very soon I'll have to look at the video and see how long this actually took because I did not time it look how dark it's getting see that it's getting darker and darker I think it's about finished I think that looks good. Okay, we're going to turn that off. And so it, I think it's good. I don't like mine extremely dark. I mean, some people might want it a little darker than that. I'm going to move it off, off that hot burner right now. And let me slide this over a little bit. Now in the bottom of the pan, there will be brown bits. And those are what you want to get in every scoop that you put in your molds. So I'm going to put that down, bring the molds over with my knife. Now let's see if I can get this closer. Closer. Let's see. There we go. Now you can see the brownness underneath now as I... move it around a little bit. So what we're going to do now, I always say we, I don't know, it's just me. I guess I'm figuring it's me and you together. <laughs> what we're going to do now is to scoop a, almost a full serving tablespoon size into each little hole. And I go to the bottom so I can get the brown bits as well so that each little butter bit will have the brown brown bottom <laughs> when you put it in the mold of course it's going in the bottom because it's heavier and um, when you eat them and you pop them out of the molds 
then those brown bits will be on the top of your butter, your butter bit. And get a little foam. The foam, it just stays like a white, you know. I don't know how you would actually get all the foam off. I guess there's a way you could do that. I don't fool with it. I don't mind the foam. I'm doing this a little quickly, so it's not maybe as neat as it could be. Let's see. Make sure they're full. Oops, Did a little spillage there. The last ones that you do, whether you put them in your smaller molds or your larger molds, are going to be the browner ones because it, even though you're stirring it, it still settles each time you stop stirring. So just know that the ones that you do last will be the browner ones. They'll have more little brownie goodness in them. And then I'm going to leave these in the freezer at least for an hour. I would say minimum an hour because I want to be able to pop them out nicely. I think I'm going to have more than these two molds will make. I do have another one sitting over here I can use. But notice the last ones are just really <laughs> almost, there's almost too much of the brown stuff now. Okay, I'm just going to leave that because that's a lot of brownies there. And then Let's see, got a little spillage, which of course, you know, it's me. I'm not gonna spill something. That's okay, it'll just, it'll just harden, you know, in the freezer. So I'm gonna take this, and you have to put these silicone, you know, molds, there they are, on something, ooh, that's heavy, on something uh, substantial because you cannot pick those up with your hand and just transfer them anywhere because they will spill. So anyway, I will get those out of the freezer in about an hour, at least an hour, because I have something, I'm gonna meet with someone for an hour now. And then after I've had my time with the person I'm gonna to talk to, then I will get them out and I'll, I'll just take a picture of them and maybe I'll put the picture as the, um, the picture on the front of this video, the thumbnail. Okay, alrighty, I guess that's it. I made a little bit of a mess, but not too awful much of a mess. All right, this is Linda with the Life Station Express, the Relay Station. We bring the news to you, and those are our browned butter bites for our keto snacks. I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.